All right, hello everybody. So let me show you how to do this cool text reveal animation kind of uh, title sequence. So there's this one. And then the second one is a little bit more advanced. All right, so let me show you how to do that. We'll start with the first one. So with method number one, which is, I just called the simple method. So it is, well, the illusion is that the airplane is coming in and just wiping away that beige layer to reveal layer number one, which is a photo, or in this case, a video, right? But actually, as you can see, it's not a wipe. It's a move out animation because the shape and the airplane are connected. All right, so let's take a look at how I did that. Okay, so let's begin. So beginning with the bottom layer, we have the video, we have the text, and then we have the airplane, which is going to come in, but there's nothing to wipe away yet. So we need to go here and use the pen tool and then we're going to make a, a rectangle but that's connected to the wing underneath like this and then it's just going to be a shape that covers up it doesn't have to be perfect on the edge it just has to cover up everything and be under the wing All right so then we want to format that just fill it with any kind of color that's okay All right so that will work but we just have to move the plane on top and then hold the shift key down to select both and then control or right mouse click to group them. So there you see we have it and then we could do this kind of effect if we want. So what we do is we go to animation and then build out and we'll use a move out. All right? That's too fast of course, usually around 2.25 or so. Right, that looks okay. And then we want the sound effect at the same time so we go to build order and that can start, that can be the first thing. So that starts on click and the Waikiki Beach video is also at the same time with build one and then our animation is also going to be with build one. And then we get this effect. There it is. It worked. Okay, so let's look at method number two, which is a more advanced method. So in this case, we have two actions or two animations. So in this case, the, the map, instead of a shape, we have the actual map. And that is going to have a wipe effect. And the airplane is going to move across. And we want to sync them up so that the edge of the wipe of the map is hidden under the wings. So that gives you the illusion that the wings are just, you know, making the, the map wipe away. So to do that, we need to sync up the time. So in terms of the timing of the map, the wipe for the build out of the map. So you can see here we have a timing, maybe around a second or so for this. I'll, I'll show you why that is. And then also the we have to delay it for about half a second because you can see that the airplane is several pixels to the left. And so it's going to take half a second or so for it to catch up. So we want those in sync and we'll hide the edge of the wipe underneath the wings. And then we get that kind of effect. And first, I'll just show you the more simple way to do that without this other, you know, contrail sort of effect. But if you want, I can show you how to do this as well. And that's just uh, an anvil animation effect, but with the shape uh, completely invisible, the opacity is turned down so that you can't see it. But I'll show you how to do that. So again, this is the effect. Okay, so this is what we want. So this is very simple, right? So we just have the airplane on top and we have our map. And underneath the map is the video and the text for London. Okay, so we do need a wipe on this. So we see wipe, yeah, about one, something lower than that. And if you click it, it'll just go down to one, but you can always just go in here and type exactly what you want. Okay, and then for the airplane, we want it to move. So that's an action. We want it to move all the way across. And I put these guides down here. So guides you can just find, just go click there and bring it down. And that's just so that you can see. That's just for being able to line things up. There we go. The airplane is all the way off. And the wings will cover the whole vertical axis, which allows the illusion to take place. Okay, so we have that now. And we have our map. Okay, so for the airplane, we want it to be about 2.25. So we have the two animations to go, but they're not in sync yet. So we go to build order and just to check it. So it can be, begin with a click on the sound of the airplane. And then the at the bottom layer is the video that can begin. So with build one. And then the airplane will begin and the wipe will begin. But we put a delay here of half a second because as I said, the airplane is a little bit further to the left. So let's see how this works. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? So let's hear it with the sound. Okay, so that's very simple. Now let's try it with contrails. How can we do that? So, get, so to get those, to get the contrails effect. 
So you just go to a shape, and it can be any kind of shape, but we'll just choose like a uh, some kind of long rectangle like this. And then we, we can just uh, duplicate that. So I got uh, two of them. And you, you can add more, but I'll just do two right now just to keep it simple. And depending on the size that you have, it will change a little bit how it works. But just select those and choose uh, animation for when they come in, right? So they, the build in rather. So build in, appear, and it's going to be the anvil. So that's what it looks like, right? Each one, boom, like that. But we want it to be longer. And if you have it longer, it gives it a, this kind of effect. And the smoke or dust, whatever, lingers longer. Okay, so something like that. We want to line it up with our jet engines roughly like this. And then we want them to be at the same time. So that can you know, come with everything else. It actually should come with, um, with the plane. When we click, with, so at the same time, so everything's with previous build. Right? So with, with build one, with build one, with build one. Everything's build one, right? So you can see how that would look. That might work like that, but of course we have to make it two things we have to do. One, we have to move these below because we want these below, actually even below the word London. So then it looks like this, All right? And then we just have to make these invisible, All right? So we have them selected and we go to format and we just turn the opacity down. And then you can see it if we go back to preview. And there it is. So that, that's just really quick. So if you want it more, like I did here, as you can see, I added more <laughs> of those effects. And so then you get something like this. But all that is is just adding more of those uh, rectangle effects, anvil or uh, skid. So the skid gives it kind of a dusty feel as well. Okay, so let's look at some more examples of doing this special kind of wipe effect. So let's say we're looking, uh, we're introducing some surface who has some videos. So we start with Ken Sakamoto, for example, and that's just a this kind of clip art, Hawaiian clip art of a surfer, and it just swooshed across, and then we can bring it back the other side. So we did it just like we did with the first one, where we just add a shape to it, and then we could come back the other way for a different surfer, boom, come around this way, and then when we're done, come back again this way. All right, so this is another example. Uh, or this one here, we just use a seagull, same way to introduce Haystack Rock, and then we can bring in a helicopter, and right now there's an appearance of the text, bam, there's text right behind it, but it gives the appearance that the helicopter sort of wiped that text in. So here's another one, just for example, introducing this um, university, the Beaver State uh, football stadium, so we have, this is just a, a picture on top, and then we have a football, video of a football, is the wipe. So there is a wipe in this case of that Oregon State picture, but it was hidden behind the football. And the same with that basketball. And then here's just a different way to do the Hawaii one. Right? So in this case, instead of a map or a solid graphic, if it's solid, you can use a push. But in this case, it's a wipe because, of course, we don't want the trees to move. So instead, we wipe across. And that was a more advanced one that I showed you. That's how you do that. And it has this kind of gradient under the wing, but I kind of like that. Or how about this one where we just bring, bring a big piece of a clip art of a truck, of a moving truck going across, and there is a wipe underneath the truck that you can't see to reveal the location. Or something like this. I'm just playing with this. Of course, it's much easier to do this in something like uh, DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro, but this kind of cinematic wipe. I just have the wipe out to the left of this of this text and the background as the runner comes through to reveal what we're talking about. So talking about golden hour, for example. This could be in an education situation. For example, this planet has 274 moons. And of course, the answer is, right, swoosh, and there's Saturn. So again, just to review, there was the first one. This is very, this is very simple. So that's just adding a shape to the graphic which is coming from left to right to reveal what's underneath it in this case. And then the more advanced one where we don't want this picture to move, so we do use a wipe on it, but we have it in sync so that the edge of the wipe is hidden underneath the object, for, for example, in this case, the wing.